What's going on, chosen ones? This is Chose the Game back uh again with another video for you guys. Yeah, guys, so we are going to be jumping on to a new challenge that I just created. It's a really cool challenge. I'm going to be putting up all the rules. I'm going to be putting up all the point systems and how you qualify to join this new challenge soon. Before we do that, if you like MOE Perfect Inning 2020, if you love this page, if you love this channel, start now by subscribing down below. Click the notification bell to the right so you never miss another one of my videos as well as leave a comment down below telling me that you are a new subscriber and I wanted to reach out just to appreciate to tell you how much I appreciate you for subscribing to the page okay so let's jump right into the video now let's go okay jumping right into the explanation of how you qualify for the challenge okay so what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be jumping on a live I'm going to then have an ho a home run derby challenge. The home run derby challenge is going to have 10 players. Those 10 players are going to have the ability to qualify for the top five. Now the top five, it's based off of course, how many home runs they hit. If they hit more home runs than the other person, then they get to the top level. Okay. So your top five people, those top five people will be entered into the challenge first. Then we're going to do another live and we're going to do the same thing again. Do a home run derby with 10 people and the top five people of that challenge is going to enter the challenge. Okay, perfect. We're going to do this three times so we can have 15 people in total doing the challenge. Okay, let's jump into what the challenge actually entails. So before we talk about the new challenge that I'm going to be doing with you guys, let's let's get into the home run derby challenge and make sure that everybody understands the rules the new rules with the home run derby challenge because i've started to see that a lot of people were taking advantage of the fact that they had all these awakened players and legendary players on their team and they were getting the same advantages as say someone who had an a great team which is not even fair so this is how it's going to be played if you have fifteen thousand points or under on your team then we're going to be only giving you failed pitchers so if you have 15,000 points and under on your team your overall team then you'll be able to get the failed pitches if you have 16,000 and under you will get the red dot so that's probably like 15,000 plus or if you have 17,000 and under which is probably like around my grade then you will get the fastball straight down the center okay so for anyone seeing this, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the comment section below and I can go over it a little more detail. But now with that being said, let's go and talk about the new challenge. Yeah, we are finally here. We're finally talking about the actual challenge. I'm going to jump right into the challenge. But before I do that, let me explain to you guys, I'm going to be using my S grade team. So if you are going to be a lower grade team versus me, I'm going to give you a different set of rules. And if you are higher grade uh, versus me, I'm going to give you a different set of rules. I'm going to go over everything so you get a better understanding of exactly what I'm talking about. First and foremost, these are going to be three inning games. Okay. So after we play the 10 uh, home run derby challenges, we're going to jump right into the five games of three inning games. Now, usually each three inning game is around 15 minutes. So hopefully we don't take too long to play these five games. If we do, we'll just continue it. We just continue it either off the live stream or we're continuing on the next live stream. However you guys would like to do it, we'll figure it out. Okay. So within those three games, sorry, within those five games, but each being three inning games, every time you hit a single, it's going to be one point. A double is going to be two points. A triple is going to be three points. A home run is going to be four points. And if you score from an RBI, no matter where that person ran from, it's only one point. Now, what that means is if the person runs from first all the way home, that's one point. Second home, that's one point. Um, third home, that's one point. But you also get an additional point for actually getting either that doubles you know you get that single or um the double 
So you're not getting a double on top of the person being on base. The double or the triple is only if no one's on base. Okay? Okay. Next thing. If you steal a base, that's one point. If you strike me out, that's also another point. Hopefully this is all making sense to you guys. If not, um, you can always ask me in the comment section below and I'll, I'll explain a little bit better, okay? So now we're going to get into what I was talking about a little earlier, which is if your team's uh, ranking is less than mine or, you know, 16,000 or below, I will go over the point scaling system for, for when, when I'm scoring, okay? So if I get a single, that's negative one point for you. If I get a double, that's negative one point for you. If I get a triple, that's negative one point for you. If I get a home run, that's negative two points for you. If I steal, there's no points being taken away. And if I strike you out, that is negative one point for you. If you are any um if you are above 16,000, it is a single will be one point minus from you. A double is minus two points for you. A triple is minus three points for you. A home run is minus two points for you. And if I steal, nothing is taken away. If I strike you out, that's negative one point. So hopefully this all is making sense. Um, I will break it down again a little bit later on if that if that's need be of any sort. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the new challenge, and I think it should be really fun. I mean, I think it's going to be a lot of work because I'm going to have to keep scales of all the points and everything. But I'm willing to challenge myself uh, to see how organized I can be and to see how fun this is going to be for you guys. Um, you let me know in the description below if you guys think that this is going to be a good idea. If you think that this is going to be something that's probably going to take us way too long to finish. Um, I think that it's going to be something that we can look forward to almost every single week. Um, I think that it's going to be something that you guys are going to appreciate as time goes on. But let's figure out a name for this. Okay, because I really would like to see if we can get a name going for this uh, challenge. But yeah, so just to clarify, once again, we're going to have 10 people, right, going up for the Home Run Derby Challenge. Out of those 10 people, the top five people will verse me in the uh, new challenge that we're making. Out of those top five people, we're going to pick one person that's the winner, right? So the winner will be the one that accumulated the most points. It doesn't matter if you win the actual game, right? Because if you score, if you hit a home run, that's four points, right? But if if you just got a whole bunch of like uh, base hits and doubles and triples and stuff like that, and you, you keep on getting a whole bunch of base hits but not scoring, you're still scoring a whole bunch of points as well. So this can go both ways and it depends on how well you keep me off the bases. Because if I'm if I'm constantly getting on base, I'm taking points away from you as well. If I'm constantly um, striking you out, I'm taking points away from you as well. So these are all things that you have to look into as well, guys. So make sure that you're preparing your team for this. Um, I, I probably will start this next week. Um, you let you guys let me know if you guys want me to start this next week. I think I'm up for starting this next week. But yeah, um, again. I appreciate you guys dearly. Um, this was definitely fun being uh, making this. I, I really appreciate uh, you guys being so consistent on the page. And yeah, guys, leave a like on this video. Tell me in the comment section below if you like the idea that I'm going to be creating a new challenge, something that we can look forward to on a more weekly basis, something that we can bring new chosen ones into so uh, when they come into the whole like i guess the whole community that they have something to look forward to as well this whole new uh way of playing this game i love playing the game regularly don't get me wrong but it's just it gets a little boring it gets a little stale and i think that this is going to spice up the game a little bit so i appreciate you as always i keep on saying that because i really really do if it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have just stopped making videos. You it consist, you constantly was reaching out to me on the on the uh, comment section, and on my videos. Guy, you know, when am I coming back? Am I gonna come, do, am I gonna do a live stream? Am I gonna make another video? And all of those comments kind of propelled me into bringing back the uh, page, and I I really appreciate it because I really missed this thing. I really missed it. 
thanks you got thanks um, again guys um, I'm gonna be jumping off this video now uh, leave a like again please leave a comment in the comment section below and as always you know what to do peace out You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro No more. A high, hard one That's a grand slam